Advanced Studio Classroom is on the air. Welcome to our class today. We have a very interesting lesson, so stay tuned as we look after our body and soul. Well, welcome everybody out there listening. We're so happy to have you there. And I'm Doris, and also we have with us today... Carolyn. Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. And this is Jack speaking. So glad I could be with you today. And you know what? It's the end of August already. Did you know that? It's hard to believe. And we're going to talk about looking after our body and soul. In the summer, we usually like to go swimming and do a lot of fun things, don't we? Yeah, yeah. And I think it's been a relaxing year so far. I mean, uh, it's interesting that we're talking about, uh, like, some of these topics now in the summertime. Uh, But, you know, some people still have to go to work, Jack. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we have to, but I don't know. I guess maybe it doesn't feel too much like work around here. (laughs) Well, that's right, especially in the summer. Well, our article on today is on page 38, and what's it about? Well, it's about looking after your body and soul, and specifically we're going to be looking at how laughter and chiropractic care can increase your work productivity. I like the laughter part. Do you like to have jokes and fun and do you like to do that absolutely i like to laugh i I like to laugh even when there aren't jokes so i mean i I definitely agree (laughs) but what about the chiropractic care we're gonna have to get into that right sure i think that chiropractic (laughs) care is important i i actually like going to the chiropractor (laughs) wow well that's good well Mm -hmm. you like laughter too i do like laughter yeah (laughs) But according to the research, it says here on page 38, but if you do like laughter or just relaxing, it's going to lower your stress. And what else? Increase productivity at work. Oh, boy. That's good. In other words, you'll get more done, right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's funny because usually I think about if I'm laughing, then I'm not really getting things done. But they're saying that the more that you laugh, you might actually get more done, right? I don't know about the teachers if they think they should laugh in school because I don't think we were allowed to laugh when we were in school very much. Oh, Not during class. Too serious. Yeah. Well, we have fun in this class. Yeah. That's right. Studio classroom is different. We have but fun. anyway, <laughs> we do like to be productive. We like to get a lot done, and we have to find out how we can do that. So that's what we're going to be introducing today. And the very first paragraph tells us about that. So let's just read the beginning paragraph through line 12. Look after your body and soul. How laughter and chiropractic care can increase your work productivity. According to research, this will lower stress and increase productivity at work. And it's free. How often do you laugh at work? We're often more reserved at work than we are in our day-to-day lives, and for good reason sometimes. But with more and more Americans working longer hours and taking less vacation time, chances are you and your office are in some good need of laughter. And it turns out that all that laughing has a heap of business benefits. Well, do you agree with that, Carolyn, or not? I think it's a very interesting idea, and... I do think that laughter can really help. Well, you know, sometimes when something happens, it could be a small thing, but, you know, you drop something and it breaks or something. So you can either be upset and angry or you can laugh at it and say, well, I was tired of that anyway. So it depends on our attitude. Mm -hmm. And sometimes laughter will kind of take care of blaming somebody for something, don't you think? Mm, Yeah, our attitude at work is really important. And if we kind of come in with a negative attitude, then we're going to have a bad day. That's true. And it says how often. But I think when things happen, 
it depends on how we accept them, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. I actually, I really agree with you what you are saying, Doris. I think that um, if you can accept that life has some things that are,、uh, in some ways, we say,、uh, in English, we say ironic or irony,、um, or that it has situations that are just, it's very, it's kind of, Almost funny how, how they turned out, you know. I, I think that's a way to really be able to get through life,、mm -hmm. to have some fun along the way, to not, not be overstressed or really uptight about well, what's going、true. on. That's true, you know, in、yeah. everything you do, I always kind of laugh about the fact that it seems like when I get on an airplane, no matter where I sit, no matter which side, they always start serving the other side fruit. You know, they start serving the food, and I'm the very last one. They say, Oh,、well, we don't have that one left anymore. We've used it all.、Oh, and I、no. said, Well, maybe that's because I don't want to get too fat anyway. So, <laughs> you know, so you can laugh about it instead、mm. of saying, This is a terrible airline or something. So I think if you can kind of take things light and laugh at them, you can say, Well, I guess I'm last because I, I'm, I shouldn't eat too much or something <laughs> like that, you know. So it's kind of fun if you can make a situation more fun. Exactly,、mm. exactly. Like,、uh, for instance,、um, we have a, a kind of saying in English called Murphy's Law, which basically says that、uh, if something bad can happen, it will happen. And they,、yeah. they say things like, for instance, if you、uh, spread a piece of bread、uh, with butter or something, that it, if you drop it, it will fall with that side downward, right?、And、so sometimes, like, if that happens to me, like maybe I drop something and it does fall that way. It, I just I have to laugh at it. You know, yeah, it's like. Instead of well, just being upset. Yeah, you know what? It's, it's funny. It actually does work that way sometimes. And yeah, it's, it's well, best to do that. Of course, just, it depends on、yeah. where you work, too. But, you know, sometimes you're more reserved at work because, you know, it's not like you're at home and, and you want people to think that you. You know, don't think your job's important or something. Right. People do tend to be more reserved at the office, which means that they aren't. Sharing a lot of personal things. They're not really talking to their co workers about their home life, that、no. sort of thing. But that's probably because they want to come across as being more professional, right? They don't want people to know all of their personal、that's、information、yeah. because they want to have a professional working environment. And sometimes that makes us a little bit too serious. Well, and besides, it's okay to laugh with people, but、yeah. you don't laugh. At people. That's quite、yeah. different, isn't it?、Mm. Very important difference. Don't laugh at somebody、yeah. when something happens, but laugh together with them. That's quite different, isn't it? Like, basically, so it's great if you can laugh more, but it's also, it is important, like, when and what you're laughing at. You know, it's, it, this article is not trying to say that we should just take、no. everything as a joke.、No. You know, there are some、sure. moments for sure to. You know, if you're in a project that requires a real、uh, hard work or someone else is going through a difficult time, obviously you don't want to be laughing at other people.、No. It, it's, it's about having a, a lighter feel about some of the more challenging parts of our own jobs, I think. But like,、yeah. like that one sentence is in line 11, it turns out that. All the laughing has a heap, a lot of business benefits.、Mm. And you don't think about laughing have business benefits. So let's see what else they have to say about this because there is some information on there and we call it compelling data. Which, what does that mean, compelling data? Well, it means that this, there's information, this data or data, and it's compelling. That means that it's providing some very interesting evidence. Well, let's read that. We're on page 38 in the second part of the lesson here today compelling data. Let's read that. Sounds good. Compelling data. According to research from institutions like Wharton, MIT, and London Business School, laughter relieves stress and boredom, boosts engagement and well being, and spurs not only creativity and collaboration, but also analytic precision and productivity. Harvard Business School professor Allison Wood Brooks has also found that cracking jokes at work can make people seem more competent. The Mayo Clinic explains that when you start to laugh, it doesn't just lighten your load mentally, 
It actually induces physical changes in your body. It increases your oxygen intake, your brain's release of endorphins, and can reduce the physical symptoms of stress by aiding in muscle relaxation, and leads to increased productivity. Now we might all agree with this, but what surprised me was that this research came from these schools that are known for their business. Like Wharton is a business school,、mm-hmm. and MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and London Business School. These are places you would think they would not think that laughter was thing. Isn't that strange? Yeah, you would. Imagine that these schools would be focusing on business practices, technology development, and they wouldn't necessarily be thinking about fun,、no. right? I associate <laughs> laughter with fun, but apparently, research or research from these schools shows that laughter relieves stress and boredom, boosts engagement and well-being, and spurs creativity and collaboration, as well. As analytic precision and productivity, hey, there's so, a lot of big words. Yeah,、there. and laughter does all those things. <laughs> <laughs> right,、yeah. that's right. Wow. Well, let's get some more with these major boosts in engagement. That means that you work with each other and you feel good, well-being. And when it spurs something, it means it kind of sparks it. Creativity.、Mm-hmm. Now you can see that you're more creative because you're relaxed. But what about Collaboration. Does it help you work more with other people when you can laugh with them instead of just, okay, you do this job, but if you can kind of joke with somebody, it's it's a lot easier to work with them, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you know, I feel like、um, if we can laugh together about、mm-hmm. something, then we can feel a little bit more like we're on the same team. You know, that's right. I don't know about this analytical precision and productivity. How does that work? I'm was, not sure. Yeah, I was wondering about that too. I have to analyze that one. I mean, let's think it over a little bit.、Right? Uh, I maybe so. Let's see.、I'll, I'm guessing just for productivity. If you're happier and you just feel more relaxed, you might be able to just get more done. Get more done. Yeah, yeah. possibly.、Mm-hmm. And、sure. maybe if、yeah. you're feeling happier, then you're able to focus better, right?、Mm-hmm. So、mm-hmm. that would help with the analytic precision. Well, that's what they say anyway. And Harvard, which is very a professional business school, professor, this Allison Brooks said that cracking jokes at work can make people seem more competent. When you crack a joke, it just means telling jokes.、Mm-hmm. When somebody tells a joke, you say, "Let's crack a joke." It's kind、mm-hmm. of a phrase that we use sometimes,、mm-hmm. yeah. but. This, it seems like they're more competent. No, I don't. I never associated people that tell jokes with being competent, but that's kind of an interesting comparison. It is, and I wonder if it has to do with if you're able to tell a joke, then you might seem clever, and if you're clever, then you should be able to、Connect、do well、things. at yeah, things, that's right?、True. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Well, so this is kind of a different idea. You know, I haven't heard anybody write about this before. But what about the Mayo Clinic? What do they say? Yeah, the Mayo Clinic explains that if you, when you start to laugh, it doesn't just lighten your load mentally; it induces physical changes in your body. So it's, now, Mayo it's, Clinic, that's the health clinic. That's very yes, famous, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah, they're very famous in America, at least. I'm not sure if they're international, but yeah, they provide all kinds of great health advice and research. Can you imagine that it increases your oxygen intake? Yeah, which is interesting because you're laughing, but your brain's really These, these endorphins.、Mm. We, we read this word sometimes. What does it actually mean? It's part of our. Yeah, the endorphins are chemicals released by your brain, and they're connected to mood. And so, endorphins are great because they will kind of help in, improve how you're feeling. So then you don't feel so stressed. In other words, if you're uptight or you feel stressed, and you laugh, it relaxes you, and then you can work better. Otherwise. It's very hard to think when you're stressed, isn't、mm-hmm. it? Yeah, I mean, often when I'm stressed, I feel like my thoughts are getting all tied up into a knot. You know, they're all getting tangled up. 
But、right. if I can laugh and kind of get、uh, some more air in my lungs and just get my mind off of things for a little while, sometimes that knot untangles a little bit. You know? Well, it says it aids your muscle relaxation too, and so you work better. So, from the business viewpoint, from the medical viewpoint, it seems like being. Uh, laughing and having more fun in the office makes you work better. So I'm all、hmm. for that, aren't you? Yeah, 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 sounds great. And we do that at Studio Classroom, don't we? Sometimes we do. We have a pretty fun time here. That's right. Well, this is a good thing because it helps our body and it helps our mind. Like our soul is our spirit, and we feel more like, wow, this is a good family to work together with here at、mm. the office. Yeah, there. I have to say, there is something nice too about if someone. Uh, wants to come and tell you a joke. Sometimes it makes you feel like,、uh, well, they they are interested in me. They care about me. My coworkers care about me. They they want me to hear a joke. You know. Or if something happens in the office, or you do something wrong, instead of saying, "Oh, you did that wrong, Jack," they just say, "Oh, Jack, that was pretty funny," you know. And then, oh well, they're going to laugh at it instead of telling me how terrible I was. Yeah, exactly. And that's a great way to handle some of your own、uh, things. That, yeah, things that maybe you've made a mistake or something. You can just. Um, acknowledge it. Well, try not to do、yeah. that next time. Yeah, Maybe you're allowed one more mistake this year, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> say something kind of funny or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you know? exactly. Okay, well, that's a good start anyway. But let's take the second column and see what else we can find out.、Mm-hmm. Essential care, stress management among employees and employers. Is more crucial than ever. When you're stressed, you're at a greater risk for illness, anxiety, insomnia, difficulty concentrating, and even forgetfulness. It seems like laughter really is the best medicine, and it's free. More tips for easing stress and increasing productivity. Give your mind a break. If you practice silencing your thoughts, you'll give your brain a much-needed break. This means your focus will be crystal clear when you get back to work. Ditch the conference room. The next time you have a meeting with colleagues, take it outside, stroll through a local park, go around the block, walk around the building. This exercise will get you out of your seat for a well-deserved leg stretch. Plus, it boosts creativity as new environments and views inspire new perspectives and thought processes. Well, there's three different things mentioned here. Essential care means what is actually necessary. We have certain things that are essential. Some things are not necessary. So it says stress management is necessary. <laughs> It's more important than ever before. It's more crucial than ever before. Now, why is that? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with how busy our lives are. It seems like every single second of the day is taken up by something. Now, that something might be as simple as checking your phone, looking at updates, scrolling through pictures, watching videos. But we are on all the time, always responding to messages, always communicating, and sometimes that can be really stressful without us realizing it. That's right, and you know what?、Uh, obviously, stress is something that people have to deal with all around the world, all different cultures. Some cultures more than others,、um, but it is really essential because there have been many、uh, studies that show that stress can really, like, even damage our health. You know, over time,、mm-hmm. it can damage your not only your thinking but your Yeah, your physical body over time.、So. I remember even years ago in studio classroom, we talked about this from some Reader's Digest articles. They said the stress is the cause of all illnesses because you know when you get stressed, that's easier、mm. to get any kind of sickness. Yeah. So stress it does something to your body's immune system, and, and so it, it can't take care of things that come in. So that's right. So we have to relieve that stress. That's right. That's、and、right. Even people who have cancer and things like that, if they if they don't worry about it and they don't take it so hard, they get better faster. 
Isn't that true? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. And so laughter is not—it's not going to get rid of all stress in your life. No. But what it might do is it might help us to just get a little bit of more air into our lungs.、Uh, think about something fun, something clever.、Uh, have a moment of relaxation that will hopefully start to. Interrupt these patterns of stress in our lives. Well, they're talking about you know at the office, and so you don't want to have anxiety to be nervous and worried.、Mm. But it even helps you at night when you're sleeping because、mm. some people just have trouble to sleep at night. What do we call this when you have trouble sleeping? Well, we see that in our lesson here. It's called insomnia. It's a lot of people have problem. They have to take sleeping pills at night.、Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, insomnia is very serious because if you don't sleep well, then you're not going to. Perform well, regardless、right. of what it is your need, what you need to do,、mm-hmm. and not just offices. The kids going to school, in high school, and grade school, they might have difficulty concentrating,、mm-hmm. or even forget all the things they're trying to memorize. So、mm-hmm. remember that at home too, when you're teaching your children to do it in a good, fun way, and and tell them to do stuff that's fun, not just say don't do this, don't do that.、Mm-hmm. You're going to cause stress then.、Mm-hmm. So this is not just for the office.、Mm-hmm. Right. Absolutely. So it seems like what we have the slogan is that laughter is the best medicine.、Mm-hmm. Have you heard that people say that before? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Very common phrase in English.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. In other words, relax, and it's free. Yeah, absolutely. You don't have to pay for it. That's kind of funny, right there, right? Yeah. But there's some more tips here for easing. The stress and increasing what we do, our productivity. What is the next one? Well, the first one is give your mind a break, and I find this to be really interesting. Trying to silence your thoughts. I don't know that I'm very good at this. <laughs> trying to make my mind be quiet and not think about things, especially when it's time to go to sleep. That's when my mind starts telling me all all these things I can think about. Say no, don't think about them now. You're trying to sleep.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I know there are many different ways that you can try to silence your thoughts.、Uh, one of the ones that I have been using recently that I just really enjoy is、um, listening to the sounds of like. Uh, sounds from maybe uh, uh, somewhere outside in nature, so like wind and some. Not little... the cars and the traffic. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> like the sound of wind or、sure. of water、mm-hmm. or of、uh, some bird singing or something. And、um, you know, you obviously it's great if you can go out and.、Uh, Go to a park or a river or a lake or something and and enjoy that. But you can also find recordings online, and I find at least when I listen to that, it. Makes me stop a minute and listen because I want to hear it, and then I find that it it pauses my thoughts, some of my other thoughts. And of course, if you're at work, you can't you know do all that, but you can give your mind a little break and just stop for a few minutes. And、mm. you've got you're very busy, but you say, "I'll、well, just stop and relax a minute," and then after that, you start doing something, and all of a sudden, your mind. Is better, and we say crystal clear. That's kind of an interesting phrase.、Hmm. Why do we say crystal clear? Well, a crystal is a type of mineral formation,、uh, kind of like a rock, and crystals tend to be very clear. You can see through them, and so if something is crystal clear, that means that it's. Perfectly clear. You can see through it. You can think clearly. You don't have any trouble. There's nothing blocking your way. Right.、Mm. You know that's kind of the opposite of being muddy. Muddy is not un. It's not clear at all.、No. Clear out all the mud. Yeah. And you, you could even say、clear. that my thoughts were muddied. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you said to ditch. The conference room. Now, when you ditch something, it's like throwing it in the ditch in a way. But we say that when you want to get rid of something, you say ditch it or get rid of it or hide it.、Mm. So the conference room. Let's let's have a meeting in the conference room, and you all sit there. But if you say let's go for a walk in the park and talk, it's kind of different, isn't it? It is different, and it's not mentioned in our article. But I remember we've、uh, talked about it previously about how just getting up and walking around can really help your creativity and thought process. So this idea of getting outside the conference room is doubly helpful, right? Because you're going out in nature, you can listen to these wonderful bird sounds or the wind blowing, and you're moving, and that can really get. 
your brain working. Well, and it boosts your creativity in these different environments and so forth. And so it helps you think in a different way. Now, I don't think you can take a whole lot of people around in the park because uh-huh. you won't be able to do that. But if you're just yeah. talking to one or two people, you can do that. Sure. I wouldn't suggest you take six people out for a walk. Uh, maybe you could, but it would be a, <laughs> it might be a stretch, yeah, to do that. <laughs> yeah, but I do really like this idea. I agree with uh, what... Carolyn said, I think that there's something about walking that really is great for coming up with ideas. And And sometimes you even go next door for a cup of coffee. That's not bad either. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Coffee gives me ideas. Let's do that right after class. (laughs) That's a good idea, Doris. (laughs) In fact, it's almost time right now, and you're laughing about it, but let's do it anyway. (laughs) Sounds good. So we've had some pretty good tips today, but it is almost time to take a break from today. But remember, we have a program every day. And don't forget to look at the QR code and look at the skits and all the different things that you can help you remember what you've learned today. And remember, make fun of things, not of people. Join together, laugh with them, don't laugh at them. That's, That's right. a great idea. Thanks have, so much. Have some fun while you're at it. Yeah. That's right. And so we're going to talk about some things that help us, that help our body and our soul. And this is just one lesson. Tomorrow we have a different lesson about the chiropractors, and you're you're interested in that too. I sure am. And I am. hope all the rest of you are. Mm-hmm. So you be sure and be here with us tomorrow. Will you be here? I'll be here. I'll be here. Sounds good. Okay. Have a good day today. Come on. Let's laugh about it. (laughs) (laughs) Bye-bye. Okay. Bye for now.